Effective employment of autonomous weapons, sometimes known as killer robots, in Ukraine might disrupt international efforts to control their use. Do not miss today's program in which we will investigate whether or not Russia and Ukraine have employed lethal robots in their ongoing conflict. Be sure to subscribe first and then we'll get started. As far as we know, no nation has deployed autonomous weaponry, could pick and choose targets without any human intervention. Their usage raises ethical concerns. Groups working to limit the spread of weapons of mass destruction are pushing for legally binding international treaties, similar to those that regulate the use of chemical and biological weapons. However, global events are impeding progress. From July 25th to 29th, the United Nations Group of Governmental Experts on Autonomous Weapons will have their final meeting. From what we've heard, the panel has been looking at this since 2017 and they still can't come to a consensus. Russia's opposition to international legal controls and subsequent boycotts of the debates about the country's invasion of Ukraine has rendered consensus among all parties involved unachievable. Allen claims that the US's Directive 3009 is mistakenly seen as prohibiting the use of autonomous weapons. It establishes stringent requirements for such weapons and a rigorous certification process, intending to reduce harm to innocent bystanders and allied forces. But there are some notable exceptions, such as missile defense systems and landmines. According to Allen, the regulations are so stringent that no system has been submitted for evaluation. Opinions could shift if Russia deploys autonomous weapons in Ukraine. Russia has autonomously operated KUB loitering munitions. These can lie in wait in a certain area and launch an attack as soon as the device detects a potential prey. According to Allen, Russia supplied its soldiers in Ukraine with comparable Lancet loitering munitions in June, but he doesn't believe they have been deployed autonomously. They can independently search for and attack targets, neither has been reported to have been operating in fully autonomous mode. It's guaranteed that some in the US government will wonder aloud whether or not they need comparable capabilities for effective deterrence if Russia goes ahead with the deployment of these weapons, says Allen. Mark Gubrud, a professor at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, agrees, arguing that news of the employment of autonomous weapons in Ukraine will further stoke Western interest in the technology or harden government's resolve to reject calls for arms control. According to Allen, the mistake rate for Lancet munitions is more likely to be far higher than the 1% threshold mandated by Directive 3009. Anti-aircraft missiles have a simpler time doing this than weapons like Lancet, which must differentiate between military trucks and other vehicles like school buses. Potentially, future weapons will be able to meet the requirements. Aerovironment, a manufacturer of unmanned aerial vehicles, has shown off a target recognition system that it claims can use to distinguish between 32 different types of tanks. The switchblade loitering munitions might be made fully autonomous by using this. Ukraine is currently receiving switchblades, which might be used to launch long-range attacks against Russian artillery sites. Aerovironment recognizes there are moral concerns associated with the autonomous deployment of such a weapon. According to Allen, the widespread use of radio frequency jamming in Ukraine, which severed contact between human operators and drones, has stoked interest in autonomous weapons, which don't require a link to be maintained. As the head of the Pentagon's Emerging Capabilities Policy Office, Michael Horowitz is in charge of the evaluation of Directive 3009. However, Gubrid is skeptical that he will advocate for strong regulations. And according to Allen, the review of the directive won't change much, but it could provide more information on topics like machine learning and when technological advancements need a systems re-evaluation. The United States Department of Defense did not provide a statement before publishing. Autonomous weaponry will advance without mandatory international regulations. New and improved weaponry will be in high demand as a result of wars like the one in Ukraine and it may not be long before we see lethal robots in the fray. Do you have any thoughts on this, friends? Put it in the discussion below. In any case, we think we're done here for the day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before leaving.